Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It's a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Played in with accuracy. Battles to win it back. Now, where's he looking? Played out to the right. Neither team has yet managed to impose any authority, and uh, as a consequence, this game's just drifted. Throw it. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. He's left his man, and he's there to cut it out. Out to the right. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's got options out wide. That is terrific skill. Could be thinking about a shot here. He's had a go! They score! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Drives it towards the front. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Shoots! of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that it still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to them. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Leading 1-0 at the break. 
game has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And it's Ruben Castro. Plays it out to the flank. Chip through. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's Ruben Cash. Has a pop! Oh, some clever movement up front. Yeah, they're playing with a, a false nine, and no one's really holding a fixed position up there. How does that work? Well, I think... Yeah, he's fouled him there. And it's Ruben Castro. Beautifully done. And here's Ruben Castro. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Can he deliver? Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Oh, nice touch. Great lead! And yes, it's there! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So that's two now without reply. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Big chance! And it's played forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Up towards the front line. Gets wrestled off the ball. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. Danger averted for now. And that's been one straight back. Plays it out to the flank. Towering header! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough.
time added on will be two minutes. Up for the header! And with that, the final whistle. So they...